We're getting crafty over Excellent. here. Melissa Lamb, good morning. Hey, good morning. Okay, so uh, I, I really like this because this is where you can grab at a yard sale, save exactly. a piece of furniture. Exactly, yes. I was going for a certain look when I bought my new condo. Okay. And I kind of bought a bed, um, some night tables, and I wanted a dresser that kind of mimicked that mirror look. Okay. Except for the fact that they're super expensive. You can see here, I yeah, pinned like, some of the ones that this. I like, and they're like $1,300, $1,500, and they're it's really awesome. hard to find. Right, but even if you, like you said, if you can find them. Now, and to find yes. something that's really well made. Exactly. All you have to do is go back a bit but the style is out, right? That's like, right. take a look at this. Take a look at this so one So this here. is a dresser set that my parents have. They're antiques that they had in their basement. They right. have a set of three. So this is not the actual dresser that I refurbished. That's a desk. But it's the exact same one. So right. I had, they had a big dresser, a small dresser, and then they had the makeup stand. Okay. So I took the small dresser. And did this? And did this. That's awesome. Yeah, and we do have some before and after pictures. Where we and people look you. at it and they, when they see it, I'm sure they say, you did this? Yeah, exactly. And it's not that crazy. Crazy it's hard. not hard at all. Okay. So basically what you want to do first, because it's an antique, there was some old paint and stain on there, mm -hmm. so you have to sand it pretty thoroughly. Right. Uh, so you want to sand the entire That's really dresser. the, that's the elbow grease. That's the hard that part. That is. Do yourself a favor, buy yourself a little mouse sander. Works wonders. There you go. Okay. Took off the knobs because they're very old fashioned. Old they were school. gold. They didn't match the look I was going for. So Crystal I went knobs to, are nice. Yeah. Bit pricey. They are. Yes. Actually, you know what? They're about three or four dollars a knob. A piece. But I mean, <laughs> I, it's better than fifteen hundred dollars, right? Right. All right. <laughs> so, anyways, I sanded that. That's the dresser, uh, the, the desk. But yeah, we sanded the dresser really, really well. We right. took off the knobs, and then the second step was to paint it. Okay. Now I found the mirrored-looking metallic paint at Home Depot. I think it was about. $30 for this jar. Yeah. There's quite a bit of left uh, paint left in here still, and I Half only the did fact. the one dresser. Okay. Um, the thing about the paint is use a really good roller to put it on. Okay. Because a paintbrush will kind of slide off, and you'll see the little streaks in the in the wood. So uh, uh, almost a sponge roller, yeah, so you don't like see really those. Yeah, like a really good sponge really... And you do. I had to do about three coats of this paint. Okay. And it dries very very quickly. So just keep that in mind when okay. you are painting it. So once so, it, and then we're gonna see it now. I'm just going to put a little bit on a paintbrush, yeah, because okay. just to kind of show you. But All yeah, right. that's the finished product, so you'll see that's what it looks like. It's really nice. I like that. It's a gorgeous color. And there's yeah. different shades of metallic. They, they have gold, they have bronze, they have like a black metallic, they have a lighter silver. Good. But see, I'll just kind of show you here. See how it goes on really thin? Yeah, you can prime it and it might uh, up the process it a little does, bit quicker. It uh, does, but you, you, ha you will have to do several coats and see how with it you can see the brush strokes. But it goes, like it goes a long way. You can see it that. It does. Yeah, okay. So that's why the roller is the better option. And then from there, I see the stenciling and I, I well, that's, that's where it, it looks really complicated. See, I've done this, I'm really into this damask stuff and I think it's been very trendy right now and a lot of people have been using this yeah. print, but you can do anything. So then I went through, after the paint was dry, the three coats, mm -hmm. I went and stenciled along the dresser. Show me how you did that. Very easy, all right. So you can use a stenciling sponge. Mm -hmm. I find these are a bit trickier. Okay. One of the key things you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tape your actual stencil to the board itself. And you can measure to make sure it's equidistant and exactly. looks Exactly. Unless then, you're an artist like Melissa, and then you can eyeball it. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this. Okay. So you're just gonna, I find the little triangle makeup sponges that you could buy at the dollar Very store. Very dense the sponge. Store, right. Yeah, are the best. Okay. They're the ones that are gonna apply it okay. perfectly. So you're just gonna dab some craft paint. It's not even very expensive. Okay. I'll just get you to help me hold this sure, so yeah. we can get a nice clean. And you're just gonna take the, and dab it along. Oh, I like that. Okay, stencil. good. That's easy. And you can go as dark or, or as light as, as you want. So I'll do it a little darker on this side okay, here yeah. so you can kind of show you. Good, okay. And, and then, then so it's gonna be painted. Ah, that's like dun, da, da, da. There you, you just go. Remove so, it. And you and you can see that uh, you took a little more time on the dresser itself yes. because it's really defined and really exactly. nicely done. And the, the one thing too is you're gonna want to keep it on and let it the paint actually dry before you before remove you the lift? stencil. Ah, good However, idea. we had to show this quickly yeah. because sometimes you will move the stencil and you will actually scratch. The, uh, the yeah. paint itself. And changing hardware on things is one of the fastest ways to change something for the better, right? Exactly. It was actually, it didn't take that much time. It was super inexpensive because I already had the dresser itself, so it cost probably about $45 to do it myself with all my supplies. And so it, it doesn't really have to, that much. to be your color scheme. You have some other ideas no, on exactly, Pinterest. Take yeah. a look. We took some other, uh, using the damask print. I already had black furniture. That's why I went with the silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can paint your dresser black and add a silver damask print. You could do color if you want, yep. especially for baby furniture. I know a lot of people don't want to invest 
lost in uh, spending tons of money on a crib that you're only going to use for a couple of years. Right. So if you buy an old antique, you can refurbish it and make it your own. And you could probably, when you do this, if it is something that you're not going to keep forever, you might be able to sell it for more than you bought exactly. it for. Exactly. Or you can change it from boy to girl. If you have a little girl and you know you do it pink, you can change it to blue very easily. Look at you. Inexpensively. Saving me cash and making uh, things look better than they did in the uh, first and place. And then you have a unique design where no one else will have it, right? CTV Otmore Live. Look for, us on, on, look for us on Pinterest, really. Look for Melissa Lamb on Pinterest, all right? <laughs>